What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Tonight in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a pair of Pentium 3 processors here again. These are kind of unique in that they are slot 2 Xeon Pentium 3s and they both have 2 megabytes of level 2 cache. 550 megahertz each. And this is a slot 2 motherboard, the Intel C440 GX Plus. Currently running uh, 1 gigabytes worth of PC133 ECC registered memory on this board. This board has onboard Adaptex SCSI on it. Has an ISA slot. No AGP slot, although we do have two 66 capable megahertz capable PCI slots on the top. And one PCI X as the third slot. Graphics card I'm going to be using for these tests is the NVIDIA GeForce 6200 PCI video card with 512 megabytes of RAM. The sound, uh, once again, is going to be the Sound Blaster Live X Gamer card. I'm just going to be running this, bench this board through the usual benchmarks here. And uh, I'm going to be adding a new benchmark, Aquamark, to this particular run of stuff here. So you can see in the 3D Mark 2000, we're getting a score of 3768. And in the 3D Mark 2001, we're getting a score of 3694. Quake 2 Demo 1, 644.80 is doing 149 frames per second, not too bad. And at 1024768, we're doing 99, just one shy of 100 frames per second on that one. Demo 2, 151 frames per second, 644.80. 1024768 is 101, and just like on the last video, these are all ran with maximum settings enabled. Quake 3, 64480, non-SMP, we're getting 58 frames per second. And at 1024768, we're getting 57 frames per second. With SMP enabled, you can see there's actually a healthy boost in frames per second there. 92 now, 64480. And not quite as healthy of a boost, but still significant, 73 at 1024768. Aqua Mark 3, which is a little bit more of a newer benchmark than this system would have ever been um, designed to handle, but still nonetheless it's kind of an interesting benchmark to run here. Uh, we're getting a CPU mark score of 1503 and a graphics score of 2385. Turning our sights on Unreal Tournament UT Bench here, 1024, 768, 32-bit color. Minimum frame ranks, we are getting 17. Maximum is 52. And the average is 31, so not too bad. Uh, interestingly, these are roughly half of what this uh, Unreal Tournament was scoring with the dual to all 640 by 480 in 32-bit color. Uh, minimum frame rate we're getting 18. Max is again 52 and average is 32. So you can see the video card is pretty much not playing a factor at all in uh, Unreal Tournament at least. It is a very heavily CPU bound uh, game here so yeah it's kinda interesting. So as you can see from the benchmark results on this motherboard, it's about average for what I would say a Pentium 3 550 would do. I don't believe the 2 megabyte level 2 cache is really playing much of any performance benefits at all over a standard Pentium 3 um, with 256k of cache, though I'm going to be testing that at some point in the future if I can find a Pentium 3 550 in my pile of stuff. If not, I think I've got a 733 which I can underclock to 550 with a 100 megahertz bus. So that might be coming up in a 
future video. But for now, the results are kind of interesting. Um, we're scoring about half of what we did on a lot of these benchmarks compared to the uh, Tualatin, which is kind of interesting. And it goes to show that there is a significant, uh, maybe not quite significant, but there is a bit of a drop-off. Uh, the faster the processors go, seems like a little bit less of a benefit there is. And the GX chipset, which is what this motherboard runs, is basically the BX chipset, but with the ability to handle more uh, memory. So um, performance-wise, it should be basically about the same as a BX chipset. And as you can see, it's only getting about half of the uh, frame rates of the 1.4 to alt, and so it's not too bad in that recent in that uh, regard anyway. Um, you'd kind of expect that, but again, it's uh, you know less than half of the megahertz that the Tualatin is running at. So you can see there's definitely a little bit of a performance drop off the faster the Pentium 3 gets on on these uh, older platforms. There, the processors weigh about two pounds each and are roughly the size of two Pentium 2 or Pentium 3 processors or one Athlon and one Pentium 3 or hey two Athlon slot A processors so they are a big processor the upper half of these processors holds a lot of voltage regulation in them so uh, that's what's going on there and two pounds uh, with the heat sinks there is a lot to support and I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount those as brackets are basically non-existent uh, to find so anyway I hope you guys like this video a quick look at a slot 2 motherboard take care everyone peace out and we'll see you again on the Wayback Tech channel